Hello, I'm Luke Hatfield. You join me and Shrewsbury Town correspondent Lewis Cox. We're at the Meadow. Lewis, uh, we just witnessed the EFL Trophy game yep. against Bolton. 2 1 win. Um, and it's EFL Trophy progress. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Through. Um, qualified from Northern Group C with tonight's 2 1 win. We have a game to spare. Mm -hmm. um, still got to play Crew, who are the other side who have also qualified in the group. They're two teams on six points. So both uh, League One sides, Town and Crew. Through to the next round, which it's good news, isn't it? I mean, you know, this competition is, uh, you know, has its detractors, shall we say? But you know, in these times, and obviously it's a truncated season, and, and more games are probably not ideal. But prize money is worth remembering, you know. And we spoke to assistant manager Dean Whitehead after the win tonight, and it's, it's quite clear to see with the teams they've selected in the two games so far, and the way they speak about it, that they're really sort of mean business in this mm. competition this season. And you know, they'll, they'll want to win games in it and keep progressing in it and ultimately target Wembley, which, you know, they clearly feel it's very achievable. So, yeah, it looks good. I mean, we'll get into it, but made hard work of it tonight, I think it's fair to say, yeah. against League Two Bolton, but they, they got the win and got through, so. Yeah, I mean, they did make hard work of it at times, didn't they? I mean, they looked good. They got the first goal. I think Bolton really came back into it then. It really spurred, it almost woke them up, didn't it? Yeah. Um, and they had a couple of good chances to level it. And then before you knew it, Shrewsbury Town was 2 0 up. And it felt it, like game over. Yeah, it did, didn't it? But then the second half, they started, they were so comfortable, Town. Um, they were just controlling the game. And then there was a little bit of a. Maybe they just switched off a little bit. Yeah, Bolton score, and then all of a sudden they're hanging on. But it was a set piece, wasn't it? A set, a set piece goal from Bolton. They didn't. Bolton weren't creating anything up to that point. I think it's 65th minute. Bolton had barely been in Towns half at the second half. Either. From 45 to 65 was Towns' best period of the game, probably, mm. ironically, given that they didn't score or anything like that. I think, you know, they were 2 0 up, but, you know, as you mentioned before, that Bolton had real chances, not, not to mention a, a penalty yeah. that uh, they put onto the post that Harry Burgoyne reckons he's tipped onto the post. I'll um, give him that, I'll give him that. Well, he, Burgoyne's also made a wonder save from from six yard sitter, mm. hasn't he, from ex town man Arthur Nahua. So, you know, it wasn't one way traffic, 2 0 flattered town. But like you said, start of the second half, they were they were dominant and they looked how they should look against this much changed Bolton team, to be honest. They're cutting class above and, you know, we'll get on to him. But Jan Zemburek, the, uh, the Brentford loanee making his debut, really grew in his influence. They changed things at half time tactically just to get him right in terms of pressing and positions and it really showed he looked bit of a class act to be honest balanced both footed I'm really looking forward to seeing him mm. given that he's had a little niggling groin injury and trained for 15 minutes apparently before today's game he should be one to watch this season hopefully so but yeah uh, town on top game looks over you're thinking they're going to get a third and a fourth here they cruise control which was good to see given given struggles in the league this season to, to put games to bed obviously and then you know Bolton set piece out of nothing and Dean White has just said there Aaron Pierre switched off I thought, aside from that, Pierre did well tonight, largely sort of led the, the back line of his experience, but switched off. They get a scrappy set-piece goal. It's 2-1 with 20 minutes left, and, 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 and you're hanging on, aren't you? It's, it's back on a knife edge, and it was still open. You know, we, we remember the Bolton chances in, in added time, which, which could have and should have gone in, to be honest, mm. to force penalties, but Town had chances of their own, didn't they? Cummings put one over the bar, and Barnett yeah. had a couple of Barnett had a couple of one-on-ones. So... Yeah, yeah. As, the lights have just gone no, off. Our light's gone off. Oh, our our light's, light's gone, gone off. off. Uh, should we continue? We will continue. Okay, I'm sure they want to hear us, not see us anyway. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's time got over the line, didn't they? But they made it tougher than tougher than they wanted to. Um, but they, they, they put it to bed, which is something they haven't been able to do in the league, obviously, so far this season. And hopefully the victory gives them a bit of confidence to wins in this competition then. Yeah, and and we saw we saw some debutants. You said um, yep. we saw Jan the man. Jan the man. Um, I like your avoidance of saying his second name. I, I don't know how to pronounce it to be completely <laughs> honest with you. So I don't want to. I don't want to. I've already yeah, failed. Ruin it. So. Um, but we saw we saw two more, didn't we? Um, yes. Charlotte Tracy, correct. Who I thought was promising, showed good signs, and then Matt Miller, who came on, Ten admitted minutes, yeah. admittedly only a, only a cameo really, mm -hmm. uh, and played out of position. But some promising signs. Yeah, yeah. Um, Charlotte Tracy, particularly first half, one of Town's brighter uh, parts of the first half, really, in terms of, you know, he's he straight away you can see he's quick. He, he turn mm. a turn of pace, which which obviously helps as a winger. You know, good to have a winger with a bit of raw pace about him. He is raw. You can see that. He showed a couple of nice touches in the first half, actually, close controlling a, a bit of skill 
But as he sort of tired after the break, the touches were sort of bouncing off him and mm. a lot of shouting at him from, from Sam Ricketts just in terms of doing the right thing positionally and you know, his understanding of the game obviously as a young young raw player like that, not not obviously to the level they, they want, but they'll work on that and yeah, promising. And it's good to see Matt Miller have um, have ten minutes from the bench, like you say, right back in on loan from Australia. He's had an interesting week, hasn't he? A third, <laughs> thirty hour flight from Sydney. You know, imagine the glorious, glorious climbs out there, and all of a sudden he's in the freezing cold in the EFL Trophy. Mm. Um, <laughs> I know where I'd uh, rather be. I think yeah. here, obviously. Oh, of course. Um, but yeah, he, he's a powerful right back, big lad. Um, came on actually for Tracy on, on on the right of the front three, really right in midfield, right of the front three. But he can do that apparently. He's versatile, athletic, so he's got it in his game. But I think primarily we'll probably see him at right back from when the the league action returns after the international break with town obviously not in not in action this weekend which is a bit of a blessing in disguise mm. given the injuries the covid situation for two players missing out tonight obviously isolating daniel udo and Rochelle and williams so yeah come the trip to wimbledon which is being played at qpr in a couple of weeks time hopefully they'll have um you know they'll have more players back available they've been able to train with the new lads and yeah <laughs> after that first win in the league, aren't they? That's it. Right, with all the lights going out, we'll leave it there. Yes. Um, a bit of a break now for Shrewsbury Town, but you know where to go. For all the Shrewsbury news, shopshastar.com.